The next project I'll be working on is an old Milwaukee bar sign. It's a beaded back bar sign. It's kind of busted up. The clock face is all broken out of it and the hands are all bent up. The ballast is out of it so the light doesn't work in it. I'm going to convert it to LED so that it's more efficient and it doesn't generate the heat anymore. We'll get started on it and uh, see how it comes out. Here you can see the inside of this sign. The mounts are all broken off where the clock is. We'll repair those, remove the ballast and the fluorescent tube. We're going to insert a 12 volt LED fixture. It won't be a fixture, it'll actually be some pucks that are uh, four SMD lights. Um, test it, see how it throws off enough light and uh, put some LED bulbs up in the uh, candlesticks up here and uh, it should look really nice. At this point I'm going to mark all the components before I pull them out. I'm going to mark each one of these uh, brackets that hold the clock face. There's three of them. There's one at the sides and one at the bottom. I'm also going to mark the movement, the clock motor. It has two wires going to it, these red leads. I'm going to mark them. So to remove these hands, the second hand is threaded on here. It backs off counterclockwise. These hands were bent, so I'm going to have to remove them and straighten them out. The uh, minute hand has a threaded nut it will remove. And then the hour hand is pressed on here, and we'll work it off. And then we'll straighten these all out and put them back in in reverse order. At this point, I've disassembled the clock. The hands are straightened out. I will repair the brackets and glue them back to the clock face so that they can mount into the housing. They kind of free float within this sign, and I'll get ready to uh, reassemble everything back together after I convert the housing to an LED fixture and uh, put it all back together. should be good to go. So I use JB Weld 5 minute epoxy to glue up the uh, mounting posts on the clock face. That seemed to work really well. I uh, used some masking tape to attach them while I did the gluing and let them hold overnight and it's good to go. At this step I'm going to remove the ballast, the starter, and the light fixture in preparation to install the LED lighting. I'm going to need to drill out the rivets and unscrew the ballast. At this point, everything is loose within the housing. The fixture that holds the fluorescent tube is loose, the ballast, and the starter. All this will be removed, and I will come off from the AC switch and rewire it. I will go to a 12-volt transformer that will run the LED light strip. Also, I will go to the clock, and also I will go to the LED lights that will be within the candlestick. Here you can see everything in the housing has been removed. So these are the LEDs I'm going to use within the sign. These are really nice. They're actually designed for signs. They're for SMD. They're 12 volt. I found a really nice power supply. This is a 12 volt 5 amp power supply. It's actually designed for LED light strips. It has other uses. It comes with a really slick connector. This connector uh, plugs right in. It has really quick, easy connections. You can just screw it right into the uh, light strips. These light strips, you can cut them and just use the number of pucks that you want to use. I decided to use six on this. And I actually set it in there and fired it up. It looks really good. So it's a good idea to test these before you um, put them in and mount them. It throws off quite a bit of light. So you can see pretty bright. So we'll get this mounted in here, wired up, and see how it looks.
These LED light strips come with 3M adhesive on the back for easy mounting. Here you'll see I used Velcro to attach the 12 volt power supply. At this point, it's all rewired, everything is running. I just have some uh, housekeeping duties to do and uh, tidy up the wires and straighten everything up. Let me give a warning, if you're not comfortable rewiring something or working with electricity, don't. Find someone that can. You, you can get hurt working and rewiring this stuff. This fixture is not suitable for outdoor use it's not grounded so be careful working with this kind of stuff if you're not familiar with it just be careful and side on the side of caution and be careful and, and just use uh, the better part of judgment uh, don't work on this stuff plugged in so it's all set up it's ready to go just need to do a lot of cleaning and tidying up and reassembly but I think it's gonna look really nice when it's done at this point I've got all the wires tied up all of them are zip tied clean, so everything is out of the way. Um, I like to keep everything nice and neat. Here I've got the clock face remounted, the globes attached, the hands reinstalled, and the clock is running as it should. Here's the sign completely assembled. All I have left to do is some final cleaning and to polish the globes with some Novus 2 plastic polish. The sign turned out really nice. It started out beat up, the clock face was busted out of it, the hands were bent up, the fluorescent fixture wasn't working. We got it all straightened out, converted it to LEDs, which is more efficient. And anymore, it's almost cheaper to run LEDs because the price of the fluorescent tubes are getting so expensive. So all in all, I think it's a great upgrade on this sign and it will last for many years to come.